So when we look out at this image, it just looks like any ordinary campsite. Right? You don't see trash. Looks clean to me. But when we zoom in closer, trash starts to show itself. Microplastics just don't exist in the ocean. They exist everywhere. And as always, once you get close to the picnic table, more and more of these microplastics are going to show themselves. Very common one are those bottle caps. There's more and more little pieces of plastic. There are some pieces of glass and metal mixed in, but the majority is plastic. And let's zoom out one last time so you can see and maybe now you don't notice it or now that you've seen it you still might see those little pieces pop out. Very common item found here at campgrounds are bent tent stakes. Still perfectly good, easily could be bent back into place. I often collect these and use them for my tent when I need extra stakes to maybe stake in a few other pieces of the fly or whatnot. Hey, reduce, reuse, recycle. They're still perfectly good. No reason to have left this behind. Unfortunately, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. The more and more I pick this stuff up, the more that starts to show that I didn't see before. Just little pieces everywhere. You think you've got it all, but you don't. It's all there. It may be blended in with the dirt. And one other thing is I'm being attacked by ants while I'm taking these videos. You guys don't know that, but they are crawling up my legs. Let's count the pieces of micro trash that I see as I come down these steps into the campsite. See how many we can get in just under 30 seconds. There's one. And none of these were planted, by the way. There's another, that thing's hidden right under the dirt. Would have never seen that. There's a bottle cap. What else do we got? That's three pieces. There's another bottle cap. That's four pieces. Another bottle cap, five pieces. A piece of paper, a rubber band, cigarette butt. Looks like a tent stake. More cigarette butts. Another bottle cap, looks like a piece of paper, another tent stake in the pit, there's a blue, little blue piece of paper over there, there's a little blue bread clip over there, I see uh, over there there's a piece of like, looks like a jerky bag, there's a hair tie, there's a regular plastic bottle cap, that looks like a little piece of paper, something right there. This is coming around the tree. More paper, baby wipes, whatnot. Another piece of plastic. So I stopped counting, but that's gotta be at least 15 pieces of micro trash when you wouldn't really see much of anything. Yeah, there's a couple more pieces of trash bottle cap and whatnot. So from a distance, we'll zoom out here. You, know, you might see one or two that your eye could catch. But otherwise, you're like, ah, oh, there's no trash. But once you get closer, you'll always find some. Again, these microplastics and micro pieces of trash are just everywhere. 
just littered. Littered with trash. It's unfortunate to see. Such a beautiful river and a beautiful view. And even though there aren't very large pieces of trash, there's not maybe a car or a computer or a chair, you know, these big things that you would think of as trash. There is so much micro trash that I can't even seem to walk very far without finding it. And when there's no trash can in sight, it doesn't mean something else can get repurposed as a trash can. Now, even though we're in a fire warning here in Southern California and we can't have campfires, you shouldn't turn the campfire pit into a trash can. Because now, once we could have fires again, this is all gonna have to be taken out before you could light the fire. So, as easy as it was to have left these little pieces of trash behind, it was just as easy to have picked them back up and carried them out.